Well, good afternoon. It is Monday the 17th of December. And I've come along to the plots today, uh, mainly just to, to come up and check on uh, making sure everything is uh, all right, uh, because we had some very strong winds last week, and I was a bit concerned about my little blue shed. And as you can see, the roof has held out the felt, but there is water getting in. I don't know if you can see there's a, a big damp stain uh, in this area here and at the far end of the, the roof where my finger's pointing there's uh, water getting in there so I think the best bet uh, when I get a, a chance is to uh, put some heavy duty plastic and cover the roof in area with that but the main aim next uh, year is uh, to replace the actual wood, uh, wooden panels that make up the roof because uh, when I first took the plot in July, uh, at end of July, uh, beginning of August, uh, there was no felt on the roof at all and the water had penetrated that much for a long period of time that the wood was actually soft. So when I actually felted the roof, um, uh, the, the actual felt nails uh, were just sort of popping out again. So I've, I've, I've done it as best as I can for the time being and uh, hopefully it'll hold out just through this Christmas period and then I can come down um, uh, beginning of January and start some work on repairing the roof. I'll just show you around the plot uh, and show you what's growing. Uh, so first of all, um, I've got two small beds, uh, one here and one over there. And these are two beds of Akadoshi, I think you pronounce it that, Akadoshi or Akadoshi, uh, broad beans, which I planted uh, several weeks ago now, um, so they're coming along great, as you can see. Uh, these two beds are still covered up. Uh, I was a bit worried about uh, the wind getting under the membrane and uh, lifting it, but uh, I seem to have uh, uh, sort of protected it pretty well with uh, uh, stone slabs and uh, pieces of wood. So they're looking okay. In this bed here, it's field beans, so they're coming on great. This bed here, which is going to have potatoes in the future, um, I planted up with field beans several weeks ago, and they're all just starting to come through now. You can just about see them. Obviously, it needs weeding as well, but once the uh, field beans, if they're successful and they grow, they'll suppress the weeds anyway, I should imagine. In this bed here, which will be the butternut squash and courgette bed, bed uh, next summer, um, as you can see there's rows and rows of field beans. And these were the first field beans that I planted, and it must have been um, towards the end of October. But they're doing fine. Doesn't seem to be any sign of slug damage or snail damage. Yeah, they're doing fine. And at the end of this bed, where the garlic and uh, white and red onions are, uh, this end here, uh, we've got field beans again, and hopefully um, we'll have leeks in that bed next year. As you can see, uh, the onions are starting to show. Uh, I can make them out uh, from the weeds, uh, so this needs a good uh, weeding, this particular bed, but there's lots of onions starting to show, there's a good one there. And also, there's lots of garlic starting to show. I still don't know what varieties they are, because I can't sort of get at that end, I don't want to trample over the onions and garlic that are just about poking through, but each of those labels uh, represents, uh, I think there's about two or three different types of hard neck and soft neck garlic. But they all seem to be doing well, as you can see. You can see a bit better there. There's the field beans again. I started laying membrane uh, on the paths. Um, I'll continue in the new year. I don't think I'll bother now until I wait for the new year. And uh, we'll carry on 
laying the membrane for the paths in between the beds. There's another view of the Akadoshi broad beans, which seem to be doing well at the moment, so hopefully they'll be protecting. What I'll do is, uh, when they get a bit taller, I'll take the netting down and I'll uh, put canes uh, as supports for the uh, broad beans, and let's hope they don't get affected by the frost too severely here on this south-facing slope. This bed here is going to have uh, a fruit tree. Um, I don't know, uh, sort of, I think we're restricted on the heights of the fruit trees that we're allowed to have. I think they're only about, allowed up to two metres. So I'm looking for a, 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 an apple tree, a small apple tree for this particular area. And also growing in this area will be, um, is it the, pumpkins, the munchkin pumpkins, and also along this back fence, um, crimson crush, white free tomatoes along this back picket fence. So with it being south facing and you can see the sun on the picket fence in the summer, that'd be quite nice there. Maybe if I'm successful with uh, chilies and peppers, maybe intersperse uh, between each of the uh, uh, containers, which I'll have the tomatoes in and chilies and peppers, they can uh, all go against that picket fence. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you into plot M9 because I've got some news about uh, a plot adjacent to M9. Anyway, it's M9. Uh, work will start uh, in this plot in January onwards. The plots are actually uh, M12 is roughly about 47 feet long by 17 feet wide. M9, which I'm in now, is roughly about the same length and the same width. But the news is uh, that I have acquired this little plot here, just over the other side of this chicken wire fence. And that plot runs from this corner to the far corner, which is uh, 17 feet, and then it runs in this area here uh, of 30 feet. Uh, now I've got this pl plot now, um, so I'll have this little plot here, M9 here, and M12 over there, the other side of the communal path. So the plans for this little plot, which is called S6, will be in the future, is to grow fruit trees and uh, have fruit cages as well in this particular area. Uh, there won't be just me working on the plots, there'll be my wife, she's coming along and helps on the plots too, and my daughter Victoria, she'll be coming along uh, to the plots to help out in the new year as well. So, there's another view of S6, there's plenty of work to be getting on there, and look, there's lots of long grass and weeds in there to sort out, it's very uneven as well. There is a little gateway uh, off path one, you can just see it at the top there that goes into um, S6. So what I'm going to do with that is uh, keep that locked off and create a new entrance in this area here. Uh, a new gateway uh, that leads into the little orchard. I've got lots of plans for this uh, plot M9 as well, so just watch this space in the future. <laughs> uh, and looking across from M9 into M12. See. And I've almost completed um, M12 now, I've just got the paths to do, and uh, there's the fruit tree in that bed near the picket fence, which is just over there. I've got to get a fruit tree, and I hope to get one uh, in January and get it planted before spring. So, as you can see, there's a shed at the far end there. M9 and my new little plot, which is 30 foot times 17 feet, S6.
Okay, that's uh, a little tour of my plot for today. Uh, I'm going to go up to the garden centre shortly. It's a farm shop as well and get myself cauliflower, ready for cauliflower cheese tonight. So I'll be making that and that'll be on the menu tonight. Uh, but hopefully next year I'll be growing my own cauliflowers. So anyway, from a beautiful North Wales, lovely sunny morning, well, afternoon now, I'll say goodbye for now. Okay, take care. Bye.